thanks for joining me on a very special edition of One Guy and Three Very Special Ladies on Two Guys and a Lot of Wine. I'm really uh, honored to have three friends, two West Hartford, three, three West Hartford natives, one former West Hartford native. Kalen is now in Newington, and uh, we're going to have a lot of fun today. These are summer favorite wines and drinks, and it's going to be a blast. So I want to thank my guests, who are Kalen McBee, owner of Balance, and Mas Balance Massage and Wellness Center in Newington. Yeah. Thanks for joining. Kayla, you've been on a couple times. I think this is your third time. I, third's the charm, Bob. And of course, we all know, uh, at least most West Hartford people know, <laughs> Deb Ortega, a real estate agent with me, Ali, team at Keller Williams. Good job. And her and her husband, Milton, own Sakharopoulos, which she'll be talking about later also. Thanks and for having course, me. And of course, people who are familiar with WHCI are familiar with Adele Clark, who many years ago had her own show. Hello. And uh, I was on her show back then, and uh, <laughs> it was a lot of fun. And uh, she is um, a P Labs digital media coordinator and co founder at P Lab, and also a Hartford teacher. Yes. And uh, I want to thank you guys again for coming on and sharing what some of your favorite drinks and cocktails are for this wonderful summer we're having. Thanks yeah. for having me. Absolutely. So, generally, with Rocky here, he would have known which drink to start with. <laughs> so, uh, because I'm not quite as knowledgeable as to where we should start when it comes to the drinks we have on the table, I'm going to check with my second in command, Kaylin. <laughs> so, <laughs> Cause, All cause right. Kayla, that, you, that's, used, yes, used to be uh, right wine. in there. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> Do you think we should start with the rosé and the chardonnay, then go to the mixed drinks? That's probably what I would recommend because they're, the sugar content in these cocktails is going to be higher. I agree. So it might blow your palate, so you won't be able to taste the wine. So I would start with the wines first. Smart. So it's a beautiful summer. Uh, we're all having fun. The weather's been a little humid, but I think we're all still having fun. Right? Oh, yeah. So what I brought in, and I love rosés, is actually a South African rosé, which we very rarely do on the show. And it's the Ridley Finch, and it's the Summer Sessions Sin Salt Rosé. It's a 100% Sin Salt, and it's supposedly bursting with summer goodness. So whether or not that's going to be the case with you guys, we're going to find out. I'm going to pour myself a little we'll splash. We'll be the judge of that. <laughs> we'll right on no, okay. We're just doing splashies here. And some okay. of the flavor profiles, at least, that I've noticed and I've, I wrote down, I've written it down since I've had this a few times, is strawberry, orange, lemon, a little cantaloupe, and Thank air. You. And uh, it's supposedly a bright mouth feel. Now, this was opened a day ago, so it's probably going to lose just a tad bit, mm. but it was sealed in the refrigerator. So it's got a beautiful light salmon color, mm -hmm. and it should be the right temperature. It should, it shouldn't be too cold. Cheers. 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 I know. Cheers. I feel like we have Thank to. You. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Please. Cheers from the far. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to say the, the finish is a little weaker than it was yesterday, but I think it's mm. a little probably oh, more nice. orange and lemon up front. But... Yeah. Uh, it's, for, it's refreshing. It's yeah, mm -hmm. definitely a taste of citrus for sure. That's very good. And uh, Jim, like I said, I, I haven't had a lot of South African rosés. I don't think you have either, Kayla, right? I know you occasionally drink rosés. I drink a lot of rosé. You do. <laughs> you like me, what, like French, California? Yeah, but they're, and theirs are nice and light and easy. This is, I, I just, I, you know, rosé all day, right? So summer, <laughs> winter, doesn't matter. I think it really pairs with a lot of food too, but this is great by itself. Yeah, and uh, um, this particular one is available here in town. Yeah, you just do a quick Google search. I think it's a uh, Park Road Wine, oh, uh, I yeah. believe so. And it's under ten dollars. Actually, wow. I think it's back. It's under eleven dollars. And you can buy a lot of these and enjoy these. And the alcohol content, I think, is about twelve point five percent. And the temperature, I think, right now is what it, what it is right now is pretty what it should be. I think it should be right where it is right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I for see, sure. I see Deb poured the biggest part. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> Deb, how that's a Deb pour. I know, that's She's a Deb pour. No problem. She, no problem. I think, I think you can do it, Deb. I think you can do you it. You know, it's, the color is really interesting to me. You know, I'm used to seeing the roses being more pink. Mm -hmm. This reminds me of a little bit of a Chardonnay, which you know I'm a Chardonnay girl, so kind of like it. A, I'm not going to say it's a but generally, from my opinion, the lighter the rose, the more subtle the flavor. Yeah, mm -hmm. the yeah. Darker the rosé, that's a good the more, point. More flavorful. I think it's more sweeter when it gets to more like the pinker mm -hmm. side. I, agree. Yes. I think it's a lot sweeter. Yeah, this feels like it has like body to it. Mm -hmm. Is that the right word? Yeah. And uh, we all like you know having a little cocktail or a drink outside in the patio in front of the pool at the beach. And I think a rosé is always perfect for that because you don't. It's not too heavy. It's too cloying, and uh, it's usually very refreshing. That's why. Though. That's where the saying "rosé all day" came from. That's exactly, <laughs> right. That's exactly right. So I'm going to give a thumbs up for that one, even though it's biased because it's mine. So oh. I'm going to thumbs up. But I still don't know how Dad's going to finish that glass of wine. Oh, I need to finish it for real. <laughs> Do we have a pouring glass anywhere? Um, you know what? No, we don't have a pouring glass. Hmm. That's okay. Well, I'll, she I'll can drink yeah, as we're okay. chatting. I'll force it down. Yeah. 
And I saw so Adele, I think, uh, is going to have a cocktail. What's the name of your cocktail you'll be making? Um, so it's uh, green tea. Um, and so it's like a twist on a lemonade. So I brought Jameson. It's equal parts Jameson and then peach tree. And then I have ripe, um, which is a local sour mix. Um, and what I like about ripe is that it only has like three ingredients in it. And I know sour mix sometimes can make things really sweet. Yeah. And so I just found out that they have a Bloody Mary mix that is really good as well. So I'm definitely going to try that next time. So while we're talking, I'll mix this up. And, and that's a local product. You said. This is a local product. Yeah, I believe it's okay. New Haven or I was maybe Stanford. Stanford. I, uh, yeah. New Haven. New Haven. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it is New Haven. Um, but yeah, I mean, check this out. I got this at, um, the package store in Bishop's Corner at, um, they move locations. Uh, oh, yeah. Ma uh, uh, um, Ma Max maximum beverage. Maximum beverage. Yes, exactly. I keep wanting to say Brutus, Brutus Maximus, but it's <laughs> Yeah, it's Maximum beverage. beverage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It actually so. used to be .com at one time, didn't it? It used to be called .com. It used to be something. Yeah. So Deb's glass is now empty, folks. So we're <laughs> and uh, we're going to move on to you. Uh, yes, uh, this is my pick. Um, it's Simi Chardonnay from Sonoma County. It is the one wine that does not give me that. So you know how sometimes you get an acidy stomach the next day? Yeah. Never on this wine. Um, I want to see what you guys taste, you know, what, what you pull out of it. But it is a buttery oak. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I'm just pouring at home. <laughs> Deb, I think that is the official biggest <laughs> pour on two guys. Oh, my God. Listen, I have to make my stamp somehow on this she show. She did say before we started <laughs> that when she's at home, she does fill it up to the tippy top, and her friends do ask her why she fills it so high. Yeah. And she says, because people are always going to want another gonna, I said, wine. I know you're going to drink it. Why are you going to make me keep going back and forth to the kitchen? Well, and the only, Bob has the opposite approach. Here's the only reason I don't do that, because especially with white wine. Right, because of the temperature. I want to see, like, yeah, I agree. I like mine really cold too. And mm -hmm. if you pour it in yep. the glass, you're going to tend to drink it faster. And especially sure. for white wine, I think you'll lose a little bit if you yep. drink white wine too fast. Yep. Yep. But uh, that's okay, Debbie. But I, I'll, it's okay. You're, you're, I, but I'm going to have to wait for you again. Yeah, exactly. Back, so. <laughs> but I find <laughs> no, this no so wines. easy to drink um, by itself. It's really smooth to drink on its own. And of course, I love it with my seafood. I'm a big seafood um, eater. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. That is a very smooth shirt. Yep. Right? I know Kaylin likes the buttery. Mm. Um, I don't think this is buttery. Better. Not it's it's a oh buttery. It, the description says that it's a buttery and it's lightly toasted oak. Mm. I it's, get the oak. You get the oak, yep, which I love because I'm not a huge buttery Chardonnay fan. And then there are um, there is citrus in there. There's nectarine and, and um, pear. Uh, is it pear or peach? I'm trying to remember now. One of the peas. I'm going to go with a pear. Yeah, yeah same, pear. I think it's pear. Mm -hmm. I like the simi because I find that it's really well balanced. It's not too buttery. It's not too oaky. Exactly. It just really has that nice, um, that middle ground, I think. Yeah. Exactly. And Treva has it on their menu, FYI. Ooh. Yeah. I, I get excited when I see it on the menu. And it retails for uh, $14.99. Oh, that's a, that's a pretty fair price. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. A good quality shirt. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Really nice. Yeah. And these nice. are available. That's available locally, obviously. And yeah, yeah lo um, Cork and Bottle is, is uh, closest to us over on Sedgwick, but... Um, yeah, I've, I've found it at many of West So of i got to ask Harvard. you really quick, Deb, um, since yeah. you, you like Chardonnay. I, 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 can, I can drink Chardonnay. I'm not a, the biggest fan because usually it's too buttery. Mm -hmm. When you drink a Chardonnay like this, do you generally drink with food? Or you, can you just drink this casually? No, right? I'll ca yeah, casually, you know, without food. or it's, That's what's so nice about it because, it, like I was saying, it pairs so great with food, with my seafood, especially when I'm having steamers. I literally, or sushi, I cannot have it without a Chardonnay. <laughs> I don't know why it just pulls the food up, but I do sip it just casually. A yeah, lobster, lobster roll. I mean, anything Absolutely. would just really pull yeah. out that. Yeah, but it's so, essences. but it's so smooth and just easy. You know, like you said, that you, I can just drink it casually too. And you tend to stick with Chardonnays, don't you? Always. Yeah. Always. But do you like the more buttery one? Because no. I'm with Bob. Like I, I like uh, like for me to have a heavy Chardonnay. I don't like waking up in the morning. Yeah, because my head hurts. That's what this doesn't do it. That's okay. what's it's, so crazy. This is so crazy. much smoother. I like, don't know what is in it or not in it compared to other Chardonnays, but it's like my tried and true. I know I can get up and seize the day the next day <laughs> without a problem. 
So the wine snoobery has now come to a pause. <laughs> and we are moving away from the wine bottles. And we're now going to summer cocktails and fun drinks. Generally, we don't Exciting. do that too often on the show, but I figured this is just a special something. Yeah. Right? Heck yeah. And to have three beautiful ladies on the show, oh, oh, thank we you. have to have something that's a little bit more fun and jovial. And what's more fun and jovial than a cocktail? Uh, exactly. So I'm going to save mine for last. I want to I want to see what's going down here on both Kalen's and Adele's end. So I just mix the drink. Like I told you guys, three ingredients. It's like a lemonade. That's the way that I describe it. That's the way I describe it. So I will these share the so little cute. tasters. I know these little... And this so is called... What again? These little tea um, It's glasses. called a green tea. Thank you. So cheers. 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 Cool. Oh, it smells well, good. Yeah. So... Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's very that's that is very refreshing. Oh yeah, it's trouble. Can we? Can you like share recipes? Oh, after absolutely. This? Okay. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll tag it in the um, yes. in the show so it's out Perfect. there. But this drink wow. is what that I is like so to good. drink on like mm. a nice like hot evening, like where you just want a beverage on the um, patio. Perfect for that. Um, honestly, it's like a, a like a lemonade. That's how. Do you taste it? It's actually like it? a little scary. Yeah, sure. it is. It's, 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 we I call it the mind eraser. Yes, <laughs> a little bit of that peach in there that I think gives I it the sweetness, it. but it's not overly sweet. You know, yeah. it doesn't put the it's sweater. It's like a hint. It's not the sweaters on your teeth kind of sweet. It's mm -hmm. like, and then the um, the tart from the lemon sour I think is perfect. Yeah. yeah. What are the two nice. alcohols in the drink? Um, so Jameson and peach tree. Which you can always get like a better peach tree, you know, if you wanted to. But yeah, peach tree and Jameson. So we always said, like I said, I should try a different whiskey, but this is what the recipe calls. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, this one. Then I put it in a nice, nice little mason I jar. That. So that's how I will drink it at home. You, pink straw is always necessary, and it's uh, plastic. Nice, you know, we can wash it in the dishwasher. See if the so turtles. Yeah, love it. <laughs> so. No, I, I have to say, <laughs> I love again, the mason I, jar. I've noticed something else on this show tonight so far. There is now a giant poured mixed drink on that end of the table. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not sure who's going to be drinking that because we are not going to be able to get to that one during the show. So the end of the show is going to be very interesting tonight. But that's, that looks fantastic. Mm -hmm. It does. I love it. But uh, that's, that's fantastic. I love the little pink fish. Yeah, it's, it fits the me. Silicone. <laughs> yep. It screams summer. It does. So it if you have to guess, because I like throwing in price points for people, if you have to guess, if you, to make a good batch of this for a good size party. What are you, what are you looking at for? I would say under $60. Under, just make quite a lot of drinks. Yeah, you can make a whole pitcher. This is the smaller bottle, but just think I spent, let's say I bought these three, they were just small ones. I think I spent under, I think it was like $35. And what's the uh, local that lemon thing? Right? So this is, you know what? This one I think is eleven ninety nine. I feel like you're gonna spend a little bit more on this for the good stuff. It is honestly sour mix is so important that you get one that tastes good. I, it's overwhelming in drinks, and if you have it in mm -hmm. there, just like margarita mix, they make a margarita mix. It's the perfect mix. It is. It is, and you know the ingredients that you're drinking. You know, with three ingredients, you can't really go wrong. Well, Make thanks for sharing it. That, that was yeah. absolutely fantastic. Yeah, yeah very perfect, good. Perfect, perfect summer cocktail. Mm -hmm. Is it cool to cocktail? It's cocktail, right? Totally. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Versus a wine? <laughs> like, what do you mean? <laughs> Thumbs up on my end. Yeah, yeah mine that, too. That was too. delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did my Chardonnay right. get a vote? I don't remember. Oh. oh, no, we did not vote the Chardonnay. I will give that an almost thumbs up, only because I'm not completely enamored by Chardonnay, but okay. it's a perfectly drinkable Chardonnay for a person like me. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. Because he doesn't like the butter. I love Simi. Yay. Yeah, and that's that's a two thumbs up for me. Yeah. Perfect. I'm with no. it. I'm giving two thumbs up. <laughs> okay. I, so far, I like everything here, I and know. I can't wait Thanks for the next good. one because that Paloma's calling my name. Yeah. yeah and this is uh, Kaylin's uh, one of her favorite mixed drinks she's made many times for me. <laughs> I believe we. I think we've perfected this recipe. So this is a Paloma. Again, I'm loving the three ingredient action because yeah. no one has time for 15 bottles and three, you know, 100 steps. Mm -hmm. So I've pre-mixed tequila and lime juice at a two to one ratio, two tequila, one lime. And I, you can use whatever tequila you want. I think this is, oh gosh, this one is not on the tip of my tongue right now. What's the one that begins with E? Anybody? Espelon? Yes, That's it's Espelon, thank, thank you. you. Yes. Um, it's an, it's Espelon, and I like to use the Reposado um, yeah, because one. it sort of just ups it a little bit. And there is a organic pre-done lime juice. It's just lime juice. You get it in the grocery store. It's awesome. So I really like 
again, that it's a single ingredient, it's nothing else. And you're and not like squeezing the limes. 10,000 limes, my <laughs> arm is, you know, And you get dying. this much juice. Right, or you get bad, <laughs> so or sometimes true. you get bad limes. Yeah. There's actually, there's no juice in there. Yep. So the lime <laughs> juice itself is awesome. And then I have to say, Fever tree is the best. Is the best, mm -hmm. and I feel like I put it in the same category as ripe. Mm -hmm. So their slogan is: if half of or three quarters of your drink is mixer, you really want your best mixer. That's so, a good point. Yeah. Um, so fever tree makes. This one is a pink grapefruit, and I love it because it's not sweet. It only has, um, it's got a very, oh yeah, you guys are getting big drinks here. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we roll in this we, so so <laughs> we gotta show you how it's done. We I gotta show the men how it's done, I right? I didn't know <laughs> if this was a super tasting, and then Bob said, mix it at home, but it's, it's effervescent, so I didn't want to have it be flat by the time we get here. So this is what we're getting, ladies and gents. Perfection at its best. Yeah. Perfection at its best. Um, so Beaver these Tree are... makes a good um, tonic as well. I use that for my gin and tonic. So good. is that a local a as couple, well? Is Fever Tree local? I think so. No. Okay. They have a couple kind of Me tonics, too. which I love. They Thank also you. have a really great ginger beer if you like mm -hmm. mules in yes. the summer, mm -hmm. which is really great. Um, and where do you find that? You can get these at your local package store. I got these at Costco. I got a whole oh, case nice. of them. Nice. They're right next to the ginger beer, so I love that it's um, accessible and easy. And so Costco is a good great uh, go-to. Uh, Rocky loves. And you them. don't need yes. a you don't need a Costco card to buy their alcohol. Yeah, so you can Correct. go. Correct. Oh, I didn't know that. that. Yeah. This is actually in the member side. Um, oh, okay. But the uh, but you can get like the tequila and everything else yeah. that you need there. So this reminds Cheers. me of Mexico. Cheers. This is a, mm -hmm. a Mexican drink. This is where I first sort of found it. And it is just light and easy and Absolutely Ooh, so good. Some people prefer mm. to put in a little Another bit of simple syrup. One. Yeah. But I don't tend to enjoy sweet drinks. So I don't mm. like putting a simple syrup in. But if you want it to be a little bit sweeter, you mm -hmm. can. You can also sugar the rim or you can salt the rim. So whatever. Whatever it's a, it's floats your boat. Hole, I right? think I think I would like it with a drop of simple in it. Yeah, just to take away that that grapefruit bitter, mm -hmm. that bitter. Taste. Yeah, just like a drop because I too don't like sweet. Yeah. So, um, but sorry. It's, no, no. But it's, <laughs> you know what though? It's so it it but it's so refreshing yeah. this way too. You know, I love it. Thanks. Good it job. is. Yeah, it's and certainly easy. Don't feel like you need to finish yeah. the rest of this. Because it is a very very good sipping. Cocktail. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's so it's so refreshing. It's light. It it's easy. It's, it's fresh. Another it's summery. Scary, tastes good. Scary. Whereas drink. with Simi or even Ten with liter. Rose, I can drink that in summer or in the winter. I feel like this is for me. It's this is more summer. Totally. This feels like like summer a mojito. To me. Mm -hmm. Yes, summer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's my. So this is my jam. This what is kind of garnish drinking. other than the rim with the sugar? Do people put like a mint leaf on it? No, or? you can actually do either a slice of grapefruit or you oh. could do a slice of lime. Oh, cute. Okay. Yeah, I like okay. the grapefruit. That's cute. Mm. You, the grapefruit is key to me. I think. The, yeah. The, the mm -hmm. grapefruit it's just tart cute. a little bit, and again, I think that speaks to the fever tree because even though they call it a, well, actually they don't even call it technically a soda. They call it sparkling pink grapefruit. But if you liked it sweeter, uh, what's the name of that grapefruit soda? Squirt. Is that the right? Mm. I've never heard of that. Or you could probably do it with a fresca. You could do it with lots oh, yeah. of options because that's, I think, a great. Do you like a fresca? You're I a fresca do, yes. man, oh, right? Yeah. So you could sub this out for a fresca, and it would still that's have good. that grapefruit really essence, is. but give it's it a refreshing. little bit more sweetness. Mm -hmm. And so, if you're going to prepare this for people, what are you looking at for a cost to prepare some drinks for people? Um, well, let's see. The bottle yeah. of Esplone. That's how you. Bring like twenty dollars. It's like twenty. It's a pretty twenty-three dollars. I think they're definitely on the more affordable side of nicer tequila. Absolutely. So in the, we'll say maybe even we say 25, yeah. mid range. Mm -hmm. um, I think these, a four pack of these might be four or five dollars. And then the lime juice, you know, you can juice your own lime. So what are they, a dollar a piece? These so, are made to be used for mixed drinks though. You don't just drink these. Yeah. Right? I mean, you can, but you, you can, but you, that's not really what they're for. I mean, most of the fever trees are made to be uh, as, as part of a cocktail. Really you know what though? I bet it could though. No, they come like tiny. Yeah. But I like the tiny because then each time you drink it, it's nice and effervescent. Because if you yeah. had a big one, then you didn't drink it would, long, yeah, and it, it gets would go. wet yeah. and weird. It would go. So mm -hmm. yep. fever, they know what they're doing there. They do. They, they've they they've do. really well, mastered that. Smart. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm with it. Online. I'm with it too. Yep. I know. Deb is I'm probably like a I'm not doing two. I'm doing one. A single. 
But she had, still had has a wine in it's her really, glass. Really, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's really refreshing, for sure. Actually, once again, the camera probably notices all the heavy wine glass pours are down on this end. Right <laughs> so Adele has that giant mug. She's got the big mug. This, this, this is for display. This is for display. I still got <laughs> wine. <laughs> So before we even get into my last week, I want to mm -hmm. let's go with Deb first because I know you've got a, an event coming up. Oh yes, I want you to talk about uh, Sakura. Uh, can I ever say that? Correctly? You got it. It's like Acropolis. Thank you, Sakuropolis. Sakuropolis. So yes, Sakuropolis is a um, specialty soccer program that my husband and I run. He is the head coach, Coach Milton. And it's for children ages three to eight years old, and, we, and he runs it here in West Hartford. And we're going to raise funds for the town that cares, which is a special fund for those of you who don't know um, that West Hartford uh, put together. It's a non non for profit special fund to help people, uh, West Hartford residents who are in, in a crisis situation. Mm -hmm. So if they need food, if they need shelter, or help with utility bills, um, this fund will 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 help. Do you have anything coming up in uh, on August or anything other anything other events coming up? In well, we'll be opening um, fall. You know, fall classes will open up. And something that came out of like a small silver lining that came out of COVID is that Milton started offering pod classes at people's oh. homes. That nice. happened actually during COVID, and the parent and the families have continued doing it because they now they make it a big barbecue and they bring you know all the neighbors over and Milton runs the classes in their homes. That's we awesome. just include your, them into our your email address. Yeah, too, mm -hmm. yeah, wanna... absolutely. Um, it's um, well, our website, website. is yep www.socceropolis and it's soccer s o c c e r o p o l i s dot com and then of course Facebook, Instagram. You're all over the place. We're all over the yeah. place. Yeah. So yeah, we're just um, yeah, we love what we do. And uh, Kayla, anything come up with your? Uh... We we always have stuff coming up, Bob. We, I know <laughs> we are we're busy folks over there. So. Um, I am, I'm the owner of Balance Massage and Wellness Center, and we are sort of a one-stop shop for all of your health and wellness needs. We are just over the line into Newington, literally the first street before uh, or once you've crossed over. And so I'm a massage therapist and a Reiki master, and between myself and my other three staff members, we have options for folks seven days a week for booking sessions. And then we also have resident practitioners who are their own business owners who offer a wide variety of other options. So things like um, nutrition or skin care or hair removal, athletic training. And then we also have a wide variety of yoga classes and options. So we've got yoga four days a week. We have special events that we have. And uh, yeah. Oh, I want to come to yoga. I know. Mm -hmm. I just saw you interview the, your yoga instructor the other day on, on yeah. social media. I'm going to come. We have two yoga instructors, and so we have classes on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and we're actually looking to expand and add more classes. So That's we're really perfect. excited about it. Uh, once a month on the third Wednesday of the month, Jennifer Torillo, who's the owner of Concentric Care, and I have partnered together to do a yoga and essential oils class that has a focus on a specific need or um, issue that people are looking to to Perfect. address. So the next one is going to be for digestion. So all the yoga oh, postures. I need that too. I need that and too. And then I create an essential oil that is blended specifically for digestion. And then I do a guided meditation at the end. Love it. I'm coming. coming. Mm -hmm. Adele, I know you got a lot going on. Adele. Yeah. So it's summertime now. So obviously I'm not in school. But uh, I started this program with a couple other uh, John Griffin and Michael Rotano. The program's called Pathways eLab, so it's a program that's built for high school, um, Hartford uh, students, and they intern with us, and it's basically an entrepreneurial, so it's where Pathways interns find their path. So it's for them to really, so we have advanced manufacturing, digital media, um, website design, uh, uh -huh social media marketing, um, graphic design. So we work with clients, building websites for them, creating logos for them. Um, and so the kids kind of find their path. Like, do I like to do advanced manufacturing? This year I might not, so I'm gonna try graphic design the following summer, and we also pay them. So they're getting paid minimum wow. wage, which is twelve fifty an hour. So they get paid, so they make a decent amount for uh, five weeks of the summer. Thursday's our big expo where we are going to showcase everything that the kids have done That's all summer amazing. long. So if anyone needs editing or because we continue this through the school year, um, editing, graphic design, um, advanced manufacturing, we're there. And I'll definitely plug, like I'll put our website's pathwayselabs.com. 
So please check it out. We're always looking for more clients for us to work with. That's awesome. amazing. Yeah, I wish yeah. that, I wish I had something like that when I was I young. I always say that. Right? Like people come in and they're like, "Is there an adult pathways e lab?" And yeah, I'm like, yeah. "Yeah, I mean, it would be nice yeah, if we did." That's amazing. They're learning like Photoshop and they're learning yeah. programs that we'd be able to like use in the real world. That's so I got to be honest with you. This show went by so fast. We just got about, about two minutes left, a wow. little bit less. I'm not going to open this, but I'm going to talk about it really quick. Uh, and I think, Carolyn, you turned me on to this about a month or two ago. And it's the tequila margarita in a can. No and way. I remember being damn good. <laughs> it's excellent. And it, it saves a lot of time. So it's probably not as going to be good as a, a real mixed margarita. But try it. I, I think they sell them in four packs, is what they usually sell them in. Mm -hmm. Ice cold. They're fantastic. And, and uh, so much easier. Like if so you're going easier. on a picnic or going to the beach for sunset, you just so, grab the cans so and go. Easier. And um, it, was, it was a lot of fun drinking it, and I know I enjoyed it. So thanks, Caleb, for turning me on to that. And I've enjoyed it since then. My pleasure. <laughs> so, <laughs> Happy to help. It, it's been an interesting <laughs> show. I'll be honest with you, it's been a very interesting show. You don't need this much uh, liquor. I got and, it. Uh, <laughs> but it's been a lot of fun. I want to thank you guys. And so fun. Yeah. So much fun. Thank and, you. And thanks for I, having I us. I saw the booze on that Right. Side. And yeah. now, now, wait, yeah. let's just make one thing clear. You had the three women on the show. That's that was, right. you knew what you were walking into because you sent a message and you said, bring a summer drink so yeah. we brought a summer so drink when he left me a message he said just bring one <laughs> yes that's true i said everybody bring one that is correct because so he knows us too well <laughs> we wouldn't come with our arsenal so as, as we continue the countdown to 10 because 10 years is coming up in october wow. i want to thank everybody for watching yeah. Get on the show. That's i can't believe it's going to be 10 years it's Really mind boggling. It's, it's amazing. awesome. We That's also so look damn cool. good. Though. We oh, look the we same. Have, I think yeah. we're aging backwards. <laughs> we are aging backwards. Yeah, yeah. for sure. <laughs> we aged backwards a while back. Benjamin Button. Thank you, Benjamin Button. You're welcome. But I want to thank the audience. I want to thank Jen Evans, the whole staff and crew here at WHCI. Yeah. Thank my guests for being on the show tonight. And until next time, when Rocky will be back, keep us all in your wine cellar.